For the past three years, a team at NCAR working with university researchers and researchers from major government labs have been working on the USDA report, Climate Change, Global Food Security, and the U.S. Food System. UCAR's role in this report was not to write the report itself, but to provide scientific input on climate change science and also to draw upon the large university uh, resource in the UCAR community to provide expertise in terms of agricultural production, trade, things like the social aspects, the usability of the food, across the whole dimension of food security topics. And with the IPCC fourth assessment report in 2007, it seemed like really the focus of the, the primary questions for climate science changed almost overnight from demonstrate that climate change is occurring to what is the impact of this coming climate change on the coupled human natural system. And more recently, the questions evolved to how are you partnering with local, regional, and international groups to help us respond either in terms of adaptation or mitigation to climate change impacts. So our group at NCAR uh, has five different areas, natural resource governance, urban futures, weather, climate and health, GIS science, and regional climate for adaptation. And each one of these areas is designed to build a bridge between the NCAR science and then society. I will be attending the COP21 climate negotiations in Paris in December of 2015. Uh, this is the UN Framework Convention for Climate Change, where countries meet to uh, decide about emissions targets and what kind of levels of cooperation can be met. And so really what's there is to one, see how these negotiations take place, two, interact with the rest of the international community. A lot of side meetings occur on related topics, and then also kind of see from the eyes of the developing world of the impact of climate change. That's something we don't often get firsthand. My role there will be to support the rollout of this report by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And we're really excited by the fact that the Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack, will be releasing this report at the U.S. Pavilion. So for decades, NCAR has been at the lead of climate science. We have a number of experts in the scenario process, which involves designing the future trajectories of population, technology, demand, uh, that shape the emissions profiles that go into the climate models. It seems like food security would be well outside of NCAR's normal realm, but when you combine it with the impacts of climate change and the broad university expertise that UCAR can bring to bear on this subject, it actually becomes a natural.